you always have a choice in life, even if you think you don't. You're in a relationship, you're in a career, you're in a job, you, you are in a location and you think you have to be there because you have no choice. But in fact, you do have a choice. I chose this location. I chose this lifestyle. I chose to quit my job. But you may think, yeah, but I'm in a job and I have no choice. I'm in this relationship and I have no choice. You always have a choice. And in this video, I want you to understand you always have a choice and how you can feel more empowered to make those choices so that you can do more of what you really want. So you can be happier and do the things that you really love. Because when you understand the power of making choices, you can make better decisions and choices to live the life that you really, really want. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, that red button right below, hit that like button, make a comment below, tell me um, you know, what you're struggling with, tell me where you are, just comment below so that YouTube knows, hey, this video needs to be liked and needs to be watched because I wanna inspire more people and when you like and comment and subscribe, that's how YouTube knows that. So um, I have quit my corporate and that's what I do right now. I help other people, ambitious professionals who want to transition from corporate into being an online entrepreneur. And I always say, don't jump without a parachute. You need an escape plan. And I help you with exactly that escape plan. But when I'm thinking back a few years ago and I was still in a job, all I could think was like, yeah, but I need this job and I'm in this job and I'm, I'm, I'm hating it every day commuting to work and every day being in that office. I really, really didn't like it. It stressed me out. It made me exhausted. I felt negative. I, I woke up in a moody, moody mood. I just, I didn't want to, I just wanted to hit that snooze button. I didn't want to go to work. I just, I just, I just, I was so unhappy but I kept doing it. And here's the thing, it was my choice. I realized that I chose for that life. I chose for that job. And let me just simplify this really, really easily. You wake up in the morning and you're thinking, shall I wear a pink shirt or a blue shirt? It's a choice you make. Whether you have breakfast with cereals or breakfast with just um, some fruit, it's your choice. You go to the supermarket, you wanna buy some ice cream, which flavor do you get, vanilla or chocolate or both? It's a choice. Even if you make no choice and you don't take anything, it's also a choice. So not choosing is also a choice, right? Now, let's take a little step further. Let's say you want to lose weight. Well, how do you lose weight? by not putting food in your mouth. So you choose to either put the food in your mouth or not put the food in your mouth, right? It's that easy, it's always a choice. Now, if you're in a meeting at work and you don't want to be there, it's still a choice. You choose to be in that meeting. And now you're thinking, yeah, but I have no choice, it's my job. All right, it may be, so you're choosing to be in that meeting because you're choosing to be in that job and you're choosing it because you need the money at this moment. You see how it's always a choice and there's a huge difference between I have to or I choose to. Are you seeing, are you, try, are you, are you getting that, that difference in, in, in how you interpret like I, I have a choice and I'm choosing to be in this meeting or I'm choosing to go to this dinner from my office or I'm choosing to hang out with these colleagues or I, I, I'm choosing for something else. I'm choosing it because of certain reasons. What I'm saying is you always have a choice. Now, when I say this, you always have a choice and you have the power over your choices. That is how I started making different choices. And that's what I want you to do as well. If you're in a situation right now where you're like, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be in this relationship. I don't wanna be in this job. Then it's time to make different choices. And so when I was still in my job, I started to make other choices. I started to surrounding myself 
with other people. I wanted to be an online entrepreneur. I wanted to travel the world. I didn't want to be in an office stuck in a job. So I started surrounding myself with other people. I started going online because that's what I wanted, the laptop lifestyle so I can travel the world. I started communicating more with those people. I started studying online. I started researching. I made other choices to spend all of the time that I had doing that. And I also made a choice to continue my job just the bare minimum so I can get my salary and didn't get fired, right? So, but I continuously made these choices to, towards the life that I wanted. Does that make any sense? So what choices can you make right now to the life that you actually want? Instead of thinking, yeah, but I'm in a job and I don't want to be here. It's your choice. Are you in a, I used to be in a relationship I didn't like, but I chose for it until I made the decision. Now I'm done. I'm going to divorce and, you know, and make other choices. I chose I mean, a few years ago when I was so stuck in a relationship and so stuck in a job that I hated, and when I realized the power of making choices and the fact that we always have a choice, whether you eat, believe it or not, you always have a choice. When I really understood that, I started always choosing happiness. The moment I feel dissatisfied in a location, in a surrounding, in something I do, I choose other I, I make other choices and I choose other directions. I choose other people or other work or other career or other relationships, but it's always a choice. So I want you to understand you have the power in you to make other choices. What choice can you make today to make those shifts? And I always say, don't try to climb the mountain right away. No, break it down into hills, take small steps. What small choice can you make right now? If you're in a situation, a relationship, a career that you don't like, make other choices, surround yourself with people that are doing what you want to do. Go talk to them, start researching, start taking small steps, right? Start taking small steps. That's all I want you to do. And if you need more clarity, please talk to me because I've been there. I've been in your shoes and it's sometimes hard to have that clarity and to know exactly what steps you need to take, but I'm happy to talk it through to you. So please, please, please comment below. Does this make sense? Are you making other choices from now on and feel empowered? Like, yeah, I have a choice. I have a choice. You don't have to stay stuck. You have a choice. All right. I hope this feels empowered to you as much as it did to me. And I will see you again next week. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, hit the like, comment below, and I'll see you next week.